All right, welcome back to the Dominate Radio Show, 93.7 FM, Lynchburg, Virginia, KHF. Uh, we have a Hollywood phenomenon on the line right now, Mr. Orlando Jones. Orlando, how you doing? I'm good, man. What's happening? We're pumped to have you, but I got to tell you. Yeah. yeah. Nah, listen, as a Southern boy, I'm happy to be on. <laughs> right oh, on. there you go, Nate. <laughs> right on. There's a couple of us around. There's a couple of us around. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> So one of these things you do is, is also uh, a stand up, uh, which right. which we're huge fans of, and uh, you've got a performance coming up February twenty first uh, in Richmond, uh, Virginia, at the Funny Bone, uh, yeah, com- comedy club. Uh, how long have you been doing stand up? I mean, is that something from the original, including like the the Mad TV days? You know, it's funny. It's I started writing stand up when I was like sixteen years old. Wow. I used to write jokes when I was sixteen. And it was crazy because what you would do is you'd write them and you would send them in to like Leno and Letterman based on whatever the news was. And they would pick a couple of jokes and they'd pay you like $25 a joke. And if they had a call back, <laughs> Love you it. would get enough, you know, they'd give you $50. It's like, ooh, I got two laughs off that one. So I started <laughs> That's awesome. doing that. I'll never forget the first joke he took. I wrote this joke. I was like, uh, it was a story in the paper about this guy, this guy who was killing all these people, you know, manhunt. Everybody's trying to figure it out. And I was like, you know, seems like at one point the guy said that the dude was armed and suicidal. And I was like, I don't understand what the problem is, because that seemed like this is going to take care of itself. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just out. let that play out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, just let that play out. Ain't no sense in the mountain of manhood. He's going to kill himself. You just said he was suicidal. What's the problem? <laughs> Yeah, so let me ask you because that that's interesting. So you're saying basically you would have to because I, I would assume this is a quick turnaround, right? So you would have to be up on the news, look, and then basically write a joke and then submit it to what, like a producer at Leno? Yeah. So what you do is, you know, the way it worked then was you would pick up the paper, you would read, you'd write the joke right then, and then you would send in 25 jokes and hope they picked one. Wow. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. It's quick, it's so quick that's turnaround. how I started in the realm of sort of writing jokes to stand up. And then, you know, I, I got fortunate at a really long age. I got a writing job. So all of a sudden I was in Hollywood and I was writing. And then next thing I was performing and I was on that TV. And then I was in the movie business. So I really hadn't had a chance to sort of go back out and sort of do kind of where I came from in a minute. So about a year ago, I was like, I'd like to go to Richmond and Dayton and Ohio and South Carolina and Alabama and like, do, you just to talk again, meet people live, yeah. you know, laugh, because, you know, it seems like every week we're fighting about something. <laughs> Everybody's <laughs> mad about somebody or they're fighting about something. I'm like, do we not laugh anymore? Is it just all a fight? <laughs> we just got to make, make light of people having a tough time. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm like, come on, let's just try and laugh at life, because otherwise what are we doing here? So it's, it's sort of exciting to be back for me, and I'm actually really excited to come, because... It'll be my first time performing at that funny bump. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Very yeah, cool. So I'm actually super hype about it. And the guy who's like my opener, who I think is like a feature in and of himself, is a guy named Alex Scott, who you may or may not know. Sounds familiar. And Alex is from Virginia. Okay. So oh, he's cool. performed there like a bunch of times. He's hysterically funny. So I'm really excited uh, about coming down here. Right yeah, on. Shout out to the South. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Well, anyway, I was born in Alabama and grew up in South Carolina and Georgia and Florida. You know, I'm the Southerner. It is what it is. Oh, yeah. That's right. I, yeah, I see you've uh, spent some time in Charleston, too, like uh, one of my favorite cities ever. Oh, yeah. Now, well, I went down to college in Charleston for a minute. So, yeah, I'm a Southerner. So it's, it's always to me when I'm in the South, it's like, oh, man. I, I appreciate that, Orlando, because I'm stuck with Dom, who's like this this uh, York. Guido <laughs> Yankee, you know that I, that I got to deal with all the time. So it's nice to have you on with. Now, me. now, Orlando, it doesn't sound like you have <laughs> any uh, Southern accent. So did you? I mean, can you turn it on and off? Is it's that, part of being an that, actor, Dom? Is that, I know, but, but do you still got it in you? Like when you if you go home for Thanksgiving, like in Alabama or something. I mean, do you oh, start to no, pick? Oh, no, absolutely not. I don't never. I don't never. <laughs> <laughs> dirty, dirty. You know, you know the, the thing is, when you go home for the holiday, <laughs> is there's always, it's the pace changes and everybody's really slow. <laughs> we got sudden. plenty of time. Just take your time. Oh, my God. <laughs> Y'all Dude, I was it. home for Christmas. There was this lady in front of me, and I was trying to buy a Christmas gift for my, for my mom. And I swear to you, these two ladies had a whole conversation about bacon ham. It took a half hour. Good Lord. Literally, they were just standing there. She's like, now, I'm going to buy this sweater. But when you say it, that when you bake your ham, 
<laughs> you don't use um, you don't use electric. You use a gas oven, and you think that gives it better flavor. I was like, can I just buy the damn stove? <laughs> damn. <laughs> What's it with Southerners? They don't want to throw out any part of the pig. I've noticed they'll eat every single part of that pig till it's gone, including the feet. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I draw the line with a lot of that, but yeah. <laughs> Uh, you, know, you can't rush them because then you like the annoying like Yankee. I'm like, I'm from here, I get it, but I ain't trying to be here two hours to buy some. You've played in, in no, some of my uh, some, some of my favorite movies, uh, including uh, a Drumline. Uh, I I played in the Drumline in high school. I uh, uh, play the drum set uh, a little bit still now. Uh, but I want to know, like, do you have like you were the band director in that movie? But do you have uh, yeah. musical talents? I always figure that's for somebody else to say. Uh, you know, <laughs> could I uh, could I play the drums for what I needed to play in that movie? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Because there's really no way to cheat that, right? And, uh, and you definitely can't cheat. You know, conducting a band just because if you're off, the whole band is off, right? Uh, so uh, I will admit that I can snap my finger on beat, but that's what we're saying. Like that's almost saying like I'm a black dude, so I have rhythms. So I don't know if I can be about that. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere, Justin Timberlake just sat straight up in his seat. Hey, <laughs> wait a minute! <laughs> oh, <that's great. laughs> it, it, it was a fun one to do, but just because you know I'm a music fan, and you know, and I knew a lot of you know historically black colleges. My family went to historically black colleges, so it was just a lot of fun to do. I bet, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, you know, I went to high school with Nate. He he didn't play in the drum line. He was actually a baton twirler. But it's the same like, thing. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. They considered us percussion. <laughs> Sometimes you get so, someone else. Yo, yeah, Nate, you? if you were twirling the batons and you called yourself a member of the drum line, you you might be in danger right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the same. There are drum line members who are looking to beat you with a stick right now. <laughs> like, you were twirling, dog. You went on the drum. It's, <laughs> it's all right. Don's way older than me. We weren't even in high school at the oh, same time. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow. This, this is a good fight right here. Yeah. That's right. That's what we do. We just bring other people on to, to instigate. Um, <laughs> Listen, guys, we're, we're on live. Please. We're I know, free. I know, I know. <laughs> I, language, okay? I know y'all fighting right now. <laughs> Freeze, bro, Orlando's breaking it up. Well, so you have, two, uh, you have two movies coming out this year, uh, Enemies yeah. Closer and The Adventures of Beetle. Uh, can you give us the scoop on these two, these two movies? Well, I don't know what the Adventures of Beetle is. Like, that might have just been some weird stuff that's on IMDb that I don't know about. Um, you you, you honestly don't want to be a part of that. We looked it up. We're like, okay. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what it is. I, uh, to be honest, I don't even know what that is. Okay. Well, good. Then the, but that happens t- all the time. Like, they put stuff on your page, and you'll be like, I've never heard of this. Like, I, I, don't, I don't know these people. <laughs> um, and, you know, Enemies Closer, I know. That, that's an action movie to be shot in Bulgaria last year. Oh, very which cool. uh, is a lot of fun uh, for one of my favorite directors, a guy named Peter Hines, who, uh, you know, oh, this hardcore action director, Enemies Closer, is sort of his latest thing. He did Time Cop, he did End of Days, and he's just dope action director, so it was just really fun to shoot that. And uh, and then Painted Love is out after that. That's a graphic novel action comedy. And, right. Um, that's just super fun because I'm the comic book geek and I like graphic novels and so it was just fun to to do one that was a you know like they don't really do action comedies anymore so to do one that's actually really funny in a graphic novel was just super cool oh, yeah. so you, you shot and, enemy, uh, enemies closer in Bulgaria what, what, is there a lot of black people in Bulgaria is there a black scene there <laughs> In, in Bulgaria? Yeah. Jeez, I had little kids bite me on the ankle yelling, ooh, chocolate. <laughs> Actually, no, I spent some time in Bulgaria a few years back. Sofia, Bulgaria, the cat, it's, a, it's a really cool country. Yeah. No, Bulgaria is actually, and I mean this in all sincerity, it is like beautiful and the people are incredibly nice. Yeah. Like, and the food is amazing. Like, it's not a place you would think to go, but like, go there. Yeah. But when it comes to being black people, people will just walk up and touch you. <laughs> like, touch your face. Like, they really I'm do like, exist. You don't <laughs> throw the animals in the zoo. You don't touch a black man's face without asking first. Without asking like throwing, first. They're throwing basketballs at him. Like, oh man, what are you doing? Right. Let's see if he can catch it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's great. But here's, here's the craziest part of the whole thing, though. Like, they don't mean anything by it. It's not racist at all. It's just they're not accustomed to seeing you. Yeah, it's like going to Maine. Thank you. Yeah, go <laughs> <laughs> We have listeners in Maine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> No offense. It's like going to Maine. <laughs> oh, man. 
Well, uh, I, <laughs> so you, uh, all right. So, so we all know, uh, that, that you really helped put mad TV, uh, on the map as, as one of the original cast members. Um, what, what was it that, uh, really inspired you most to leave, uh, the show after the first couple of years? Uh, you know, I, I didn't feel, I felt like I'd done everything I could do. Uh-huh. You know, you know, I, it was like, I'm going to do one more character. I'm going to do another impression and people are going to go, wow. You know, it's still like one of those things where, you know, I wanted to move into a different level of storytelling, and that was telling stories in like three minutes. And I wanted to move into sort of longer form, and you know, that was really it. But it was, I had such an amazing time on the show, and I enjoyed it and everything. But it was time for me to move on. Yeah, you did a lot of impressions. I know you probably hate this, but I know you did a lot <laughs> of impersonations on the show that we're big fans of. You did Cosby, uh, Samuel L. Jackson, uh, Snoop Lion. Um, <laughs> Snoop Lion. <laughs> <laughs> Way to catch yourself out Yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> I mean, close. Snoop, Snoop listened. So, he, yeah, try, I told him. So, I mean, what, which, do you mind doing a little bit of your – I know you're in the airport. Can you do a little bit of your favorite character? My favorite character on Mad TV? Yeah. The, or the, just the, any oh. character, any impersonation, uh, like what, whatever wow. your favorite. Man, it, it's always hard. I don't have a favorite. I mean, i tell you the one that actually makes me laugh. It's, it's, it's three of them. It's Samuel Jackson because of the words that he uses to, uh, he underlines on a sentence, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, those are not the rules of engagement. Like, it's like, <laughs> who chose to scream not? Like, that's, the <laughs> that's not the most important word in the sentence, though. I mean, I'm just trying to understand. And Chris Tucker does the same thing, but it's different words. Say, man, I ain't playing with you today. <laughs> it's like, okay. Really? Man is the word? Man. <laughs> You're trying to say you're not playing, but you're yelling the word man. And then Cosby's like the third one who does the same thing. He's like, you don't understand the situation that we find ourselves in today. <laughs> you chose you and today. <laughs> today. You know, it's not important words in the sentence, though. So it just makes me laugh that all three of them choose different words and don't none of them matter in the sentence. <laughs> he just frame, Cosby just frames the sentence at the, the beginning and end. Yeah. He'll take the first word in the sentence and say it for like a half hour. I, hey, um, I got it. I right, next word, next word, please. Next yeah. word, Run out of time. Come on. Yeah, all day long with this. Oh, that's great. So, cracks me up. <laughs> Is it true that your dad played Major League Baseball for the uh, Philadelphia Phillies? He did indeed. It's one of those things where it was before my time in professional sports is sort of like what every man in my family does. <laughs> So, as you might imagine, as far as they're concerned, I'm gay. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you were in the drumming. Yeah, you, <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute. What is this supposed oh, to mean? Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Like, Uncle Larry played for the Dolphins. They tell me that you was in a movie. <laughs> 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 a little bit about us too so we are not you know typical like radio djs we're actually um celebrity publicists we like to talk a little bit about the importance of pr so um let me ask you your view on that do you how important do you think uh, pr is look marketing is important so publicity is important because you can do whatever you want to do in your bathroom but if you want somebody to see it you need to market it right <laughs> In a few words, it makes sense. Is that what you're trying to get out? You in the bathroom? Is that is that, <laughs> is that what your publicist's job is right now? <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, I just like that's just what companies do. Yeah, I mean, y'all don't broadcast to be cute. You broadcast so people can hear you. All right, uh, Fouts Fast Five. Uh, one uh, favorite country song. Uh, two old guys like us, Hank Williams Jr. and uh, Willie Nelson. Least favorite actress. Least favorite actress? Yes. Ooh, that's a good one. Uh, I don't know. There's not a lot of people I don't like. Um, don't have one. Number three, Lady Gaga or Lady and the Tramp? Oh, Lady and the Tramp. Come on, dog. <laughs> Better hair, Keanu Reeves or David Duchovny? Oh, <laughs> Duchovny. Is it okay for men to wear capris? Absolutely. No, stop it. Don't thank, even say that thank, out loud. Freeze and skinny jeans. No, sir. No, no sir. <laughs> thank God. I need no, it. Sir. He is going to be at the Funny Bone the 21st of February. And joining us here live in the studio February 22nd right here on the Dominate sure. Radio Show. That's right. Orlando Jones. There. Check him out. Um, we will be promoting this. Thank you so much for being on the show. We look forward to having you in the studio. My pleasure, man. I will definitely come hang out with you guys. I look forward to seeing you soon. We look forward to you. Thank you, brother. Thanks, Orlando. All right, brother.